Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I'd like to show you how we are going to be able to use a rotary encoder with Arduino. I know you can be able to control motors using this rotary encoder. So before we can look at how we use the rotary encoder, let's have a close look at the encoder itself. So this is a rotary encoder. In most cases, people confuse this encoder with another device that looks familiar. Which is this actually this is a potential meter you may find if you don't look closely you may find that you're confusing the two so a potential meter is simply used as a variable resistor while a rotary encoder is used to measure mm -hmm. angular movement or is used as a position sensor that's the first difference then secondly if you had to look at these devices one the rotary encoder if you had to rotate its knob here either clockwise or anti-clockwise you discover that this knob will rotate continuously all infinitely but if you do the same with the variable resistor or the potentiometer it rotates up to a certain position and does not rotate stops there or if you rotate it again rotates up to a certain position and stops so that's one of the major differences and then another difference is that a rotary encoder has a tactile switch that is attached to this knob here if you press it you hear a certain clicking sound for example let me press and see so in other words there is a tactile switch a button which does not exist in our variable resistor so that is the difference between these two uh, but today we are mainly interested in the rotary encoder our encoder has only five pins here therefore it's very easy to connect the Arduino it has a ground pin it has a power pin there's that switch for the button which I've shown you there is the output the first output which is DT and has the clock which is the other output these ones are the ones going to be connected to the Arduino automatically at the ground you got the ground pin this one you got the VCC the switch DT and clock pins you go to any of these digital pins of the Arduino board for example in this case I'm going to be connecting the clock to pin 2 DT pin 3 and the switch pin 4 now let's have a simple look to show you how we can be able to use Arduino to show the direction and the number of steps or rotation of this rotary encoder. I'm just going to show you how we can be able to read the encoder. We're going to be showing the direction of rotation and the number of steps using a serial monitor. So I'll be using some simple code that I'm going to put in the description below so that you can be able to see the outcome on a serial monitor so from here you are going to be observing that whenever i rotate the encoder for example in this case i'm rotating it clockwise or counterclockwise depending on how you have coded your code and it's going to be showing the number of steps that i'm taking they can be negative or positive depending on which direction we are rotating okay and if you push the switch it will be showing you that the button is pressed now i'm rotating counterclockwise or clockwise depending on how you want to code when you push the button it shows the button is pressed so you can be able to see that on your serial monitor that is the first simple example that you can use to test your encoder to see if it's working before you can attempt using it in other more complex applications let me now show you how we can use this rotary encoder to control movement of different types of motors i'll begin with a simple stepper motor which i've already talked about this is the 28byj48 stepper motor using the uln2003 motor driver I already talked about this i'll just put some link in the description below 
for those who don't know how to use these stepper motors you can make reference to one of my other video tutorials that i've made about this motor so i'm going to be able to control this motor using the rotary encoder the one thing is important that this motor should be connected to a different power source from the Arduino because it takes a significant amount of current so make sure the power supply to the motor is stable i'll put the link with the schematic and the code in the description below so let me now upload the code and you can be able to see how this works so as you can see the motor rotates according to the movement of the encoder in this case i'm rotating it anti-clockwise if i press the middle button it goes back to the original position now i'm rotating it clockwise I press the button again it goes back to the original position so now let me show you how you can use the same encoder to control servo motor so here we have the setup for control of the servo motor using the rotary encoder I already talked about how to use the servo motor with Arduino in several of my other projects so you can check it out and as always don't connect the motor directly to the Arduino and in this case I've used another external power supply for the motor so I'll put a schematic in the link in the description below and also the code of how this works so as you can see here this is our rotary encoder and this is our motor and that's what happens if you rotate the rotary encoder so Whenever I rotate the, the encoder, you discover that the motor is also moving. Okay, when I turn it the opposite direction, the motor also moves in the opposite direction. So that's how I use the rotary encoder to control the servo motor. So hope today's story has been good for you and you have learned something new. So don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. Thanks for watching.